At Summer NAMM 2019, I wanted to make a different type of video that's typically done. I wanted to go in depth with philosophy and why certain pieces of gear were created. I wanted to go into the application and how this will change the way that we record or mix. Okay, I'm with Anthony from HiWatt. What's going on, man? Not much, man. Just enjoying NAM and uh, looking forward to demoing some amps for you. 20 water. Um, it's three 12 AX7 preamp tubes, uh, two EL84 output tubes. Uh, you get a good grind at a low volume, which is good for studio or quiet stage sort of thing. Um, this single 12 cabinet's got a, a Fane speaker in it. I believe they're um, a Chinese made Fane, but it's a great sounding speaker. A um, lot of low end. <laughs> For a, for a single 12 cabinet. Amp breaks up nice and early. I mean, you could, this is, we could talk over this, and it's got pr plenty of grind. It's also real responsive. I'm not touching any volume knobs or anything. Just playing, playing gently. So you can go from kind of a chimey clean thing to a heavy classic rock sort of overdrive deal. Just by the touch, just by. The yeah, that that reminds me a lot of my vintage tube amp combos, where the overdrive is really smooth. Yeah, yeah, it's really smooth. I like the way this amp is voiced. Um, it's not real compressed, but there's a good amount of compression there, um, and it's just got. It hangs, no tang. It sustains really good. They're just really well built, real sounding organic overdrive on this amp. So it's a great, it's a, it's a good amp, man. I dig it a lot. You want me to play with some knobs for a second? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you, you dial it in. Those chords sound really good. Yeah, yeah, it's really full. Like I said, you can bring a cowboy chord, and then if you hit it hard, it's good. It's it's really dynamic. I I really like that actually because, I mean, again, it reminds me of my old amps where they just they push into overdrive, really musical. It's not like a quick transition. It's it sounds really good. Yeah, it's really smooth. Now this little five water, on the other hand, I'm gonna plug that into this single twelve cabinet. It's really compressed and gets a lot of uh, overdrive early, but in such a good way. It's 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 actually kind of a it can be like a little metal, little metal rock machine, man. That's killer. I'm gonna try that out. Let me point that out. Okay, cool. So this is actually a proper two-channel amp. So there's a clean channel, sparkly clean. Again, you can get real clean just by playing light or get a nice little. Nice little grind, about like where the 20 is, but on the gain channel on this. It's certainly a lot more compressed. Perfect for the studio, sounds killer. Uh, this is a single 12 AX7 and one EL84 in this amp. Um, real simple circuit. I believe this is uh, overseas made as well, the whole amp. Uh, but it sounds great, man. I mean, we, we've been pl plugging this through a 212 cabinet and through all sorts of stuff here. It's got a single, um, I believe it's a 10 inch speaker in the combo, yeah. um, which sounds good too. But through this closed back cabinet, I mean, it just. <laughs> Screams through that, and it's it's real quiet. That's like that's real. It's the perfect Nam amp. <laughs> yeah, that's that's um, it doesn't seem more than about 80 or 90 dB. I mean, no, that's yeah. no. It's I mean, 
we're talking over it easier than we were talking over the 20, you know? And it just screams, man. It's almost like cheating playing the guitar with that. You know what I mean? Because it's so fluid and, and easy to play, but... Uh... But again, even on a, on a dirty channel... I'll just go. It's, it's, it's really hard to get that kind of feedback out of a small amp that's that quiet anyway. But it's just so alive. I, I don't know how they bias it, if they bias it hot or what the deal is, but killer sound and amps. Uh, I believe they're priced real reasonably too. Jordan would have to help you out on that. I just play them. I don't do anything. So tone-wise, you know, we have kind of the tones everybody knows. Where would you place this tone? Like, how would you describe it? Uh, well, I would say because of the, the EL84s, it's definitely got, um, I mean, and it's high watt, so it's British anyway, but it's got that chimey kind of thing going on. I don't want to say the, the you know, the, the, the company, but um, it's definitely in that ballpark with both of these, which I kind of gravitate to anyway. I've always liked EL84 tubes. Um, but yeah, I think, I think high watt, with, with the, at, at the risk of sounding um, cliche, but I think it kind of has its own thing going on. You know, there, they, there's a certain character to these amps that's not, uh, it's not martially, it's not, you know, it's not one thing or the other. It's kind of bold and open is what they're, what they're known for. Um, I think these kind of do the same thing on a smaller scale. Of course, they're a little, a lot more higher gain than most of what people are used to with high watt, with the high watt brand. Um, but I think it still retains that same character of the bigger, like, you know, the, the custom 100 or the custom 50 that tonal character is still retained with these amps. Uh, you just get more gain, there's more gain on tap. That's kind of, that's where I'd put it. Sweet, dude. I dig the sound. Cool, man, it's good to meet you, Ryan. Yeah, man. Big fan of the channel, man. <laughs> Thanks.